Ladies and gentlemen, step right up for the greatest show on earth. <laughs> You're gonna be amazed. <laughs> You're gonna be shocked. Come one, come all if you dare. <laughs> Well, there's a famous movie line that says, in space, no one can hear you scream. But here at the Ramsey County Fairgrounds, they'll definitely hear you scream when you visit... Each Halloween season, this historic barn on the St. Paul Maplewood border becomes one of the Twin Cities' premier haunted destinations. Fright Farm began in 1996 when volunteers from the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office created the event as a fundraiser. Brad Kamich was, and still is, the head haunter. It was uh, an idea that I had. I used to do home haunts in my backyard and things like that, and I approached the sheriff at the time and asked if we could maybe do a haunted house here. And then each year it just grew. We added more people, we added more sets. A 30-year veteran of the sheriff's office, Kamich also has a background in community theater. So I, I build sets and things for, for theatrical produ productions around here. This is a lot like theater, except it's a little more three-dimensional. Instead of looking at a set on a stage, you actually walk through sets, so you, it's a little bit more immersive. More than a dozen volunteers begin as early as August to assemble the set pieces. 25 community members become actors. These interactive players provide the real scares at Fright Farm. Add in ticket takers and support staff, and about 100 folks donate some 4,000 hours to the cause. I like to volunteer. It's my way of giving back to the community. I like to scare people. So, I don't know, I'm not professional at all, but I do like to dress up and, and do fun things. Uh, this is actually only my second year, but I made a bit of a impact last year because I broke a wall. Yeah, wall. <laughs> I, I broke Literal a wall. Impact. Yeah. And they didn't kick me out, so it's a great place to be. So he stayed. Oh, I love the people. I absolutely love the people. The patrons coming through, all the volunteers. Everybody's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of excitement and a lot of energy. It's just fun to do this. We just love Halloween and, you know, it's a, it's a great cause. And the people are really nice. You get to know people and kind of like a fight farm family. You never know what's going to happen, but you know it's going to be a good time. Oh, 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 These volunteers put on a professional show. Fright Farm is frequently found on best of lists for Halloween activities. The best part is standing at the exit door watching people and listening to them as they come out. Because you get that, that pure reaction from people when they walk out and that, that enthusiasm and the excitement when people leave. And it lets you know that you did a good job and that's real satisfying. It was very, 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 very scary. Yeah, I didn't like the dark part. It's like, it was good. It was pretty scary. You know, the clowns in the beginning were really intimidating, you know. Some guy came out of nowhere. It was really scary. <laughs> it was really creepy and unexpected where people were hiding. <laughs> the, the random bangings would definitely get you scared. My favorite thing is probably when um, they just start popping out of nowhere. It was a lot of fun. Proceeds from Fright Farm benefit the Ramsey County Sheriff's Foundation and pay for things from dive equipment to dogs for the canine unit to its Take a Kid Fishing program. This is a tremendous community outreach tool for us. Um, we get up to a thousand people a night here and some of the people show up and they don't even know that this place is run by the Sheriff's Office. It's fun and positive for the volunteers, for our own staff, for the community and it's just something different and novel and you don't get that many opportunities to do that kind of thing. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to Fright Farm, if you dare.